Welcome back. In this session, we will discuss about differences between JSON and XML. So without wasting time, let's look into the difference between JSON and XML. JSON and XML serve as two prominent formats for storing and transporting data across various applications, including web services, APIs, and configuration files. Let's outline the distinctions between these formats and provides guidance on when to choose each one. Data representation. JSON encapsulates data in name slash value pairs and ordered lists of values resembling dictionaries or objects in programming languages. Conversely, XML structures data as a hierarchically organized document using elements, tags, that can possess attributes and nested child elements. Verbosity. JSON adopts a concise syntax with braces and commas, contributing to reduced verbosity and quicker readability. On the other hand, XML tends to be more verbose due to its use of opening and closing tags enclosed in angle brackets, potentially resulting in larger data sizes. Readability. JSON often excels in human readability, especially for those familiar with JavaScript or similar programming languages. XML, although verbose, may be considered more explicit in representing data hierarchy. Data Types JSON supports diverse data types, including strings, numbers, booleans, arrays, objects, and null. In contrast, XML treats all data as strings, necessitating additional effort for type interpretation. Metadata. XML exhibits effectiveness in handling metadata by allowing attributes to be directly added to elements. JSON lacks a dedicated attribute concept, incorporating all data, including potential metadata, as name slash value pairs. Namespaces. XML introduces the concept of namespaces, valuable for preventing element name conflicts when merging documents from distinct XML vocabularies. JSON, however, lacks native support for namespaces, potentially limiting its utility in combining data from diverse sources. Array Handling JSON provides native support for arrays, denoted by square brackets. In contrast, XML lacks native array concepts, often utilizing repeating elements to represent similar structures. Schema and Validation XML boasts robust support for schema definitions, XSD, DTD, enabling strict validation of document structure and content. JSON incorporates a schema, JSON schema, but its usage and support are not as widespread as XML schemas. Parsing JSON is generally favored for parsing due to its simpler syntax and widespread native support in web browsers and various programming environments. XML parsing can be more complex, although tools and libraries exist to simplify handling. When to use JSON JSON is ideal when working with web APIs, particularly RESTful APIs, as it is widely supported and natively understood by JavaScript. It is suitable for scenarios demanding lightweight data interchange with minimal overhead, prioritizing speed and compactness, and in mobile applications where bandwidth and efficiency are crucial. When to use XML XML is recommended when document markup is essential and data exhibits a complex structure that benefits from a hierarchical representation. It is well suited for integration with legacy systems already employing XML, situations requiring metadata and attribute distinction in data representation, instances where namespaces are necessary to avoid element naming conflicts, and when rigorous validation against the schema is a requirement. In summary, JSON is typically preferred for web-based services and applications due to its lightweight nature and user-friendly syntax. In contrast, XML might find preference in enterprise systems or situations where intricate document structures are essential. The choice between JSON and XML hinges on the specific requirements and constraints of the system under consideration. Thanks for watching. This is what I wanted to show you in this session. See you in the next session.